again with another episode of Omira's Kitchen. I don't know what happened. I was doing my bread, my eggplant and breading them up and I lost you guys because I wanted you guys to see exactly what happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. We're here. We're doing the eggplants. Uh, we have our sauce on our pot with a basil and garlic and onions. And then we have our water boiling for our pasta. We already did, we already breaded our, our um, eggplant. I don't know what happened, but just so you guys could see, I was breading my eggplant with flour, egg, and Italian breadcrumbs. So, we did, we did that. So, we're going to bring you, I'm gonna bring you guys on over here, cause we're gonna start the frying process. Right? All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I have my pan, it's heating up. Perfect, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start, so you know that your um, pan is ready to fry, ready to go. You just dip a little flour, pinch of, pinch of a little flour, and it's not sizzling yet, so we need a little bit more time with that. I'm gonna check on my sauce. See you guys, I wanna show you my sauce. Look at that. Sauce is smelling amazing. Water's boiling for the noodles. All right, let's see if it's ready. Pinch of a flour again. Still not ready yet. Still not ready. But my, my water is almost ready, so I think I might put my noodles in. I like to break, I like to break my pasta. I know that's like not a tradition, but I like to break my pasta because then it like cooks evenly. I just break it in half and I just pop it right on it. Break it in half and pop it right on it. All right, so my oil's ready for my eggplant. I'm just gonna dip it right on in. Turn it down. Yeah, that's ready. Perfect. Again, what am I gonna say? I said it, I say it all the time, do not overcrowd your pan because if you overcrowd your pan, it won't be as crispy and then the oil gets gummy and nasty and you don't want that. So I put four pieces in here, that's good enough so you guys could see. See, I put four pieces. I'm gonna put it on both sides, I'm gonna you know, turn it around maybe two to three minutes, again, on both sides. If you want it a little thicker, make sure you cook it for four to five minutes. All right, all right. This is the pan that I'm going to use. So put the eggplant in. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, like um, Spam, right? I'm gonna spray it. And we are going to turn it. Oh, yes. Perfect, beautiful. This is exactly the color that I am looking for. Nice and crisp. Look at that. Nice and crisp. Hope you guys could see it. I'm gonna take some sauce from here and you're going to put some sauce on your pan, right? Okay, so again, I'm gonna take some sauce and I'm just gonna throw it Throw some on here. Okay. You want to layer your pan with a little bit of sauce. You guys see what I'm doing? Just layering my pan with a little bit of sauce. All right, these are ready. Grab another pan. I got my wax paper. I'm putting my wax paper on the pan, right? And then I'm just going to grab the eggplant and set it on there. Perfect. If you gotta turn it again, turn it again. Look at how it is. Nice, bold, and crisp. This one is this one is beautiful. I love it. Look, nice, bold, and crisp. Again, three to four minutes on each side, depending on the thickness. If you want to, if you want to cut your eggplant a little thicker, of course, you cook it a little longer on um on the pan. I like them a little thinner, so I only cook it for two or three minutes. All right, let's get my pan. These are ready. 
perfect. Look at the color. I take this oil out. Ugh. Look at that beautiful color. That's what you're looking for. That's what you want. Okay. I'm going to bring this on down so you guys could see how I'm going to layer it, layer, layer it. Just going to place them down, right? So you see this layer here, right? Beautiful, perfect. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get our sauce. Parmesan cheese on top, right? A little bit. It helps with the taste with the eggplant. Perfect. All right. So now we are going to add our mozzarella cheese, okay? I'm going to bring you on over here. I think the lighting is better. Okay, so we're going to put another layer. Hey guys, I'm gonna add another layer to the to the eggplant. Bring you back down so you see what I'm doing. Okay. Perfect. Okay, what do you do? A little bit more sauce. Oh my God, it smells so good. This sauce is like semi, semi um, homemade. Cause I didn't use no ragu, I didn't use none of that. So it's semi homemade, right? Okay, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese right on top. It just cuts with that, that taste. It just makes it a, a little better. Parmesan always makes things a little better. Just throw that right there, boom, we're done. Okay, and then we're gonna add our mozzarella cheese. Don't be stingy. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Right? For about 15 minutes. Okay? All right, so we're done. We did our eggplant, we popped it in the oven. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit because I made a hot mess. <laughs> okay, once I drain my pasta. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil on my pasta. Maybe like three tablespoons, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley, fresh parsley. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Right, some salt and some pepper. So I drained my pasta. I put a little bit of olive oil, put a little bit more, so I'm not hurt nobody. I put some fresh parsley and I put some salt and pepper and garlic. Just gonna mix that right on up. I'm gonna throw two or three pieces of fresh basil just to give it that taste. You wanna infuse your pasta with the parsley and the basil. Make it nice and rich, right? Woke it back up with the olive oil. Perfect. Okay, so our pasta's done. Our Parmesan's in the oven. All right, so I just um, started plating. I just put a little bit of sauce, 
a little bit of my parsley and a little bit of um, fresh basil. Just guys see that I just started plating. So that way when it comes out, I throw my pasta, I throw my parmesan right on top and it's ready to eat. All right, let's get this out. Right. Bring it on here. I'm gonna show you guys. A clamp palm. Yes, your favorite, my favorite too. Look at how beautiful that is. A clamp parmesan. All right. Gotta get my pasta. more. Gotta get my pasta. And now I got my eggplant. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Oh, look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Oh my goodness. I gotta give myself some credit because this looks like a restaurant, okay? Again, pasta. I put some olive oil. I put some garlic powder. I threw some parsley and some basil. I got my eggplant here. Look at how beautiful, guys. Gorgeous. Tell me that doesn't look good. Again, don't knock it till you try it. Beautiful. Less than 60 minutes. I fried it. I breaded it, fried it, and put it in the oven. Less than 60 minutes. You can do this. I'm gonna try it. Woo, I'm so excited. Listen, when you cook for your girl or your man or whoever and they don't start dancing when they're eating, it's not good. Abby. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. I really amazed myself. Woo. I'm tearing. You know when that, that food is really hot and good and you start tearing and and uh, start coming up down a little bit? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Amazing, guys. Please try this. Please. I will have all the ingredients listed on my YouTube channel. Again, go subscribe. Less than 60 minute meals. And Thursdays, I have your late night snacks to satisfy your, your late night cravings. Again, less than 60 minutes. Eggplant parmesan. You see that basil, fresh basil, fresh potatoes. Oh, tomatoes. I said potatoes. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, the cheese is like all over. This is so good, oh my God, again. Less than 60 minutes, guys, eggplant parmesan. You guys could do this. God bless, guys. Stay tuned for next th for this Thursday with your late night snack. Peace and love, good night.